Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this look right here, which is a holiday glam. I don't know about you guys, but when I think of holiday glam, I think of bronze goddess. I think of red, gold, shimmer, popping, okay, sleek on Points. This Thanksgiving, this Christmas, people are going to be serving food and it's your time to be serving looks. Okay, so if you want to see how I achieve this look and also what I use to curl my hair, then make sure to go ahead and keep on watching for a little cute get ready with me. Started, I'm actually going to be using these pixie detoxifying depuffing eye patches they sent it to me a while ago and I have used it a ton I even use it on my boyfriend <laughs> when I say that I'd be waking up with the most puffiest eye bags ever this really saves my life and it also comes with a spoon so you can just scoop it up oh that's like three or four I actually think I'm gonna start putting these in the fridge because I heard they like work best like that Especially like mask for your face as well So now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes now to prime. I've been using this lately Non-stop the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer and I can say that I love it for my face but to prime and to have like a nice base for my eyeshadow is just not it. I find that when I use this, whether I set it with translucent powder or not, it still tends to make my eyeshadow have a dry patch. So I don't like to use this for my eyeshadow, but it's perfect for my under eyes. So I'm actually gonna go back to my old ways and I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in L400. This concealer never disappoints, especially for a base. I just wish that I had my correct shade. So then I can use it like non-stop, but I don't. For eyeshadows today, I wanted to dip into these little Natasha Denona mini like nude palettes they're called, I believe. Is it? Yeah. This is the mini sunset palette and then this one is the mini nude palette. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into these two. I've used these both on my clients. If you don't know, I am a makeup artist here in New York City. If you want your makeup done, book me. All of my information will be in the description box down below. But yeah, I did use these on my client and girl, I was shook. Her and her mom looked amazing and I was like, wow, I really need to use these on myself. I didn't set my base. I'm going to leave it wet just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and go into this transition shade right here, which is called Halo. I'm going to go ahead and take that on the LA Colors blending brush and I'm going to tap this into my crease. I suggest really building it up first and then going in and blending later so that everything blends out seamlessly. I really need my makeup to come out bomb today <laughs> because I am going out with one of my friends later on today to the city to catch a movie and dinner and all of that stuff. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did carve out my brows today and it's like very lightly. I was known in high school for my really perfect brows but at this point i just can't fathom or even find myself spending 30 minutes on some damn eyebrows like life has been way too hectic for me to actually sit there and try to get my eyebrows as perfect as possible don't get me wrong like brows can really make or break a look like if you have your eyeshadow done really nice and your brows aren't done, it's going to look like something is missing. So brows are really important. Just not important to me to spend 30 minutes on my brows. I just can't do that anymore. So now for the second shade, I'm going to go into this one right here, which is called Dirty Mars. I'm giving you guys a little bit of like ASMR with these nails. I haven't had nails in so freaking long. So now that I have them, I'm feeling like a badass bitch like for real. So I'm taking that on a smaller pencil brush, which is a very defined brush. I love to use this brush, especially after, you know, we set down that transition shade because this helps get like the definition and the pigmentation also that you're wanting. You don't want things to look messy and just like all blown in together. You kind of want to have like a gradient. That's my preference in makeup. Like seeing that gradient in the eyeshadow look makes me... Ugh. It turns me on so much so in order to have like that gradient brushes are very important so I like to go in with a pencil brush after going in with a fluffy brush 
for the transition shade just to place it exactly where I want it so it doesn't look a mess. So you have to be very precise and careful with it. Another thing I want to mention when doing makeup is like don't be afraid to like look in the mirror and look at your eye shape. Look at you know the structure. Always look like when you're doing your makeup. Look at your eyes. Open your eyes. Like especially when I do clients I always tell them like look at me. Especially when I'm doing winged eyeliner because not all eyes are the same and we all have different shapes. Some shapes don't go with our eye shape so you want to make sure you're placing it exactly where your crease is at and not where my crease is at you feel me so this is probably not going to make any sense as to why i'm going in with like a similar shade to what i previously used this is the crease shade that i used and then this is the shade that i'm going to go in with now and it's not much of a difference just the simple fact that it has more of a red undertone so i'm going in with that same pencil brush if i didn't tell you guys which one was it it's the color nor s32 brush i'm going to take that shade and just put it directly under and towards the inner and outer corner of that shade as you can see it added a little bit of more definition and just more darkness to the look even though this is where we're going to be cutting the crease that shade still blends up into that one and just makes it look a lot more nicer and neater so now to go ahead and cut the crease i'm going to be using the wet and wild concealer brush which i've talked about many times before it's like a dollar at dollar tree or family dollar so you guys can get your hands on it for show i'm gonna go ahead and just cut the crease as i would halfway all the way to the end part right here so now i'm gonna go ahead and take a skinnier pencil brush i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i mean by skinnier so the top one is the one that we used and the bottom one is the one that we're gonna use now so as you can see it's way smaller and i'm gonna dip in to that same transition shade that we used before i feel like with halo eyes it's so important to blend and place shadows like when you cut the crease right here a lot of people just slap that dark shade on just to give it that quick halo eye but it looks so much better if you just take your time and you put the transition shade in there so it can all just look like a gradient effect anyways i'm gonna go ahead and just tap that right there onto the outer corner so next i'm gonna take that same shade that we used the crease shade which is called dirty mars and i'm gonna take that on the same pencil brush and do the same exact thing and just blend it in so the lid shades that i'm gonna go into is lumino which is right here and also soil and then i'm also going to be spraying my brush with the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist so i zoomed you guys in just so y'all can see the pigmentation so you can leave it just like that, but I'm actually going to go ahead and use this palette. I'm extra as hell, and just like this palette says, I was born to sparkle. This is the Cherie Cosmetics Born to Sparkle palette. I'm obsessed. So I'm going to go ahead and use these two shades right here, and I'm going to mix that on the same brush that we used the lid shade on. So for the gold flakes, I used these from Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and try to find the link and I'll put it down in the description box down below. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with the gold one. I'm going to apply my lash glue right where I cut the crease. And then I'm going to go in with the gold flakes with a tweezer and just put it directly where I put that glue at. So now for lashes, I'm going to go ahead and use the Flutter and Love Lashes in 21. You guys have been loving this style and girls, so have I. So I'm going to go ahead and put these babies on. My discount code is MUANIE, so you guys know that I got you guys. Make sure to go ahead and use that when you're checking out and save yourself some money. I'm going to go ahead and put these on and then I'll be right back. Now I'm just going to go ahead and prime. I'm going to be using the Norpor Problem Primer. Mostly around my T-zone is where I have like the most visible pores and then i'm gonna go in with the josie marin argan bright skin vitamin c serum this is the dark spot eraser and um stabilized vitamin c this is how it looks i love this product and so does my client every time i use it they're like oh my god what is that <laughs> 
when putting all this skin stuff on my face tends to get very red and so to calm that down i'm going to be using the peter thomas roth skin to die for reducing redness treatment primer now this is like a corrector but it's a primer so it's perfect it's like a two-in-one corrector primer kind of thing and i'm obsessed with it i'll be putting my cousin onto it she loves it it's amazing i also like to prep my lips when i'm about to do my face so i use both of these products this is the sugar lip polish it's basically a scrub to take off all the dead skin cells and i rub it around my lips just to like exfoliate them and then i go in with the sugar advanced therapy fresh chapstick I'm going to go in with the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Foundation in 060. No words can explain how excited I am for like the new year. I can't complain. This year was tough. Like although it was tough, I just can't sit here and complain. I feel like this year was the year that I, not that I found myself because I did lose myself a bunch of times throughout this year but i feel like i just learned more about myself this year more than i've ever had i feel like this year was a test to find out who i truly am i'm not saying i know myself completely because i do feel like no matter how many years go by i'm always gonna still continue to learn myself especially not now because i'm so freaking young but this year really had showed me you know who i am and what i stand for and my reasoning i went through a lot mentally wise like emotionally wise as well um and also physically like i gained so much weight earlier this year um and i just was so unhappy with myself and i found how to love myself and i found out things about me that i never really knew like i had severe bad anxiety like i never really knew i suffered from anxiety this much until this year came around and showed me and was like listen this is what triggers you here are your triggers but i'm just so over it like i feel like right now is where i'm just really drained like mentally i really just want 2020 to come and i'm not gonna sit here and say that 2020 is gonna be so much better 2020 is this and in 2020 i'm gonna do that because this year showed me that when i do that it's not up to me there's some things that's gonna happen that is totally out of my control the most i can say about 2020 is i feel like it's gonna be very personal i feel like i owe myself a lot because throughout this year it's been really really hard a lot of things has happened which you guys don't even know now i'm gonna go ahead and conceal i'm gonna be using the colourpop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer in medium 90w and then also to contour i'm going to be using the shade dark 158w to contour as well y'all so lately my new thing has been virgo memes like i go to my instagram and i just crack up i'm like the most proudest virgo out here and as much as you guys come for virgos you know for always wanting to fix other people's problems and not truly like i guess focusing on ourselves and shit bitch we are popping okay i don't even think i can picture myself being any other sign like at all imagine me being like an aquarius or something no maybe like a cancer because you know they're like emotional as hell i feel like being a virgo is a full-time job like it's annoying at times you know always being a perfectionist and always finding problems and always overthinking and going to sleep thinking and waking up thinking like it's 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 hard okay but at the end of the day i'm like super grateful for being a virgo because if i didn't have the work ethic that i have like lord knows it would not be good for me so now for blush i'm gonna be using the ColourPop sticks blush this one is in the shade pretty thing Girl. i don't know if you guys watched my first face full impressions using ColourPop cosmetics but i used a bunch and reviewed a bunch of their products so if you guys haven't seen it i suggest you guys go see it and also join the giveaway i'm waiting to close the giveaway but i do want a lot of people to join but i'll go ahead and put the video up here so you guys can click on it and see it if you guys would like to i would really suggest you guys go watch it 
So you already know what's up. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage. I seen a comment on my video and it was like, wow, I just found your channel. You're like hella chill. I don't know like if she meant anything like good by that or bad, but I really don't be in the mix and the drama and I really don't do the most. Like I'm really calm. The way I am on my channel is exactly how I am in person. I'm just really mellow, hella chill. You can talk to me about anything and I just be there. Like there really be some YouTubers that come on camera and they're like hella like, hey guys, like, and it's just like, I just I can't picture myself being so like energetic, I guess. Even when I wake up, I be telling my boyfriend like, please just stop. Like, I cannot have a full-blown conversation. I probably need like at least an hour, at most an hour to myself in the morning. Like, I'm all for small talk, but if you try to like have conversation with me, I'm like, I listen, I'm still in cloud nine <laughs> i went ahead and just baked in the areas i put concealer and then i just left everything you know the way it is because i really did like how my skin was looking like dewy but not too much so i'm gonna go ahead and use the cover fx perfector face palette i'm gonna use this one shade in here which is called sublime it's like a contour shade so now for blush, I've been loving this Buxom blush. This is in the shade GOA, Goa, I don't know. This is their primer infused blush. I know I kind of OD'd with the blush, but we're going to go ahead and take this brush. I'm obsessed with this brush. I had it in my collection for a while. This is the color Nor CN159, and ever since they sent it to me, I never used it. I don't like using um, brushes for my foundation unless it's like the Il Maquillage uh, foundation blending brush. And if I do use a brush for my foundation, it has to be that little, like the Il Maquillage one. So I never really use this one, but this brush right here works wonders to blend out everything. And I'm gonna use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation and Concealer. And I'm just gonna remove all that bake with this powder, and this is just gonna help bring back some color into my face. So guys, off camera, I just did my lower lash line and then I went ahead and put the same glitters that I used on my lid onto the inner corner just to give it like a pop. I'm loving how this looks. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the Pretty Vulgar Shimmering Swan 127 Sparkling Sass Highlighter and this is all broken. I don't know if like you guys, yeah, you guys can definitely see. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a red lip. This one is the Cookian um, Dinner at 8 Ombre Lip Liner. And then I also have the matching um, lipstick. If you guys know that I use this almost every year, especially when it comes around to like Christmas and I start using like red lips more. This is like my favorite set. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. So since this is a get ready with me, I'm going to go ahead and just retouch up my curls and show you guys exactly what curling one I use. It's so crazy because this is the first product a company has ever sent to me four years ago, three years ago, and I still use it to this day. I would never get rid of it. This wand is the Lange Hair Curling Wand. All you really have to do is just switch it on and wait. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below what you would like to see next. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And with that being said, God bless and I love you guys. Bye.